Putting hogs on the mob, planting purple seeds. Baltimore Ravens coat, purple trim, big body old school for low. Purple rim, seven, seven. What? Good Ravens fam. So, this video is about my boy Marlon Fruit Hunt Humphrey. He said, he said some, he said really a lot of good things in his press conference. Man, it was deep. I was like, they had me standing up and clapping. Like, what? Doing this thing. So let's just let's just get straight to it. Let's get straight to it. So one of the things he said he's working on is interceptions. We already know he he led the league in forced fumbles, cornerbacks. He was tearing it up last year. Um, really, just trying to get the ball more um, as far as you know uh, interceptions and mainly clean up you know different things with you know knowing where my help is. I'm using that more to where I can be, you know, a little more aggressive here, you know, a little less aggressive here, uh, depending on different things. And just I, um, I've been talking with my DB coach, Chris, and um, just trying to figure out, you know, what you're going to take into the season to have you know, a couple consistent things that you do and to where it's, it's, it's book work, you know, to where it's you're doing it every time. This is what it is. And it's not you have those flashes of, of bad, bad things. You're like, yo, what technique was that? And you're just all over the place. So. I'm kind of just trying to tighten up some things um, technique-wise to where it's um, – the what, what he – what Coach Chris keeps telling me is um, have a game plan when you get to the line. So now he's trying to get more interceptions. He's told his coach he wants to work on that. Now, I seen – and this is just a little off topic, but I seen – it was what uh, – What's that fool for uh, D'Angelo Hall? I believe it was. Was it D'Angelo Hall? I think it was D'Angelo Hall for um, NFL Networks top five cornerbacks. I skimmed through the video real quick. Did not see no Marlon Humphrey. I completely cut it off right there and in there. Stupid. Really? He because he don't talk all out loud and all that stuff to get attention. He just quietly shut you down. I'll make you fumble. Yeah, he don't get the interceptions, but he gets the fumbles. But if he combines both, that's nasty. That will be nasty. So this year, I'm really looking forward to seeing him intercept more. Cause he really not that type of person like a Mark Marcus Peters that get that interception. But when you get those um, interceptions, sometimes you can risk getting burnt. We seen Marlon Humphrey get burnt sometimes trying to get that fumble. Trying to force a fumble, not get that tackle. So, but, you know, it's going to be interesting to see that. And that's what he said. He's really concentrating on coverage. I, I can't really. He's a good tackler. Great tackler. Great tackler. Better than good. He's great. Great tackler. Cover. He can cover the slot. He can cover the outside. His best is the outside. But when he had to go into the slot, or when he had to shadow somebody, did it perfectly. But also, he talked. To, I'm gonna say the best for last when he talked about. I definitely have um, noticed differently with our with our receiving core. I actually noticed it when I first got back. I look over um, during warmups, and I'm, I'm seeing the, our wide receiver coaches, you know, doing some different things and. I'm seeing the wide receiver coaches acting like DBs, and I'm like, they need to put on some cleats. So I noticed the energy. I, I felt um, a major energy change um, with that wide receiver group, not only with the coaching, um, but just with the, the the wide receivers that are there. That even the ones that were um, there, you know, last year, I feel like everyone's kind of came back, stepped their game up a lot. Um, I thought Jalen uh, Moore had a really good EFL. Like he stepped up a lot. Proche, Duve. But um, with with Bateman and um, Sammy, they they've been really really big as well. Um, I, Bateman, I, I couldn't really tell about him. I'm like, uh -huh, and then he uh, hit me with something, caught the ball, ran out of bounds, and came up and tapped me uh, on the buttons. I got a little wiggle too, so I was like, I like that. Um, really good right there, guy. And uh, Sammy, of course, he's got a pretty good pedigree himself. And um, I I just think this year, you know, it's, it's going to be. 
whatever group makes it, <clears throat> it'll, it'll be um, – we'll have a really serious, good passing attack um, just with, with what those guys can do. I think it's been a really good OTAs for all those guys. And I forgot about Hollywood. You know, Hollywood, um, he does his thing as well. And I think it'll just be a much different year than what we've seen in the past out of our core. And the, the best thing for me is when you got really good wide receivers that are doing good things in practice, it makes training camp – that much more realistic because th that's the work you know we need. We, we try to pride ourselves in being the best secondary, and it, it's hard to be a, a really great secondary when you got you know two or three good wide receivers. You know you want to have it to where you got five and six and seven wide receivers to where it makes it really tough on what wide receivers you pick. You know it seems like in the past it was like, all right, these three guys, these four guys are for sure going to make it, and well, we don't know about this guy. I feel like this year it'll be a really tough decision um, to figure out who's going to make it because we got some serious stuff. And um, I think just the work ethic um, that the guys are doing and I think the coaches over there, um, the new coaches are really pushing them to be to be great. This right here also. Oh, man, I, I thought I was in church, y'all. I, I, I thought I was in church because I was standing up clapping. I was like, that, that man is preaching. When he said he's seen... In OTAs, he's seen the difference in the wide receivers, how they're acting, how they're going about the day, how the coaching is. Let it marinate. Coaching. And yet, y'all already know how I feel about the virus. For those of you that was not in the press at the press conference in the chat, David Cully is that virus no longer here. But Marlon Humphrey, our number one cornerback, can see some difference in our wide receiver court. How they going about the day, how they running their routes. The technical aspect of the game. It says a lot. It says a lot in talking about the wide receivers. Oh, yeah, definitely. Um yeah, man, that's that's uh, that's good stuff. Um, just because it shows that there's major confidence there. Um, it's it's one thing when you can play. I mean, if you get to the NFL, you can play football. That's just that simple. But it's the confidence that'll take you to the next level. You know, you see a lot of first rounders get in the league and never pan out. It's, it has nothing to do with the ability. It's more the confidence, um, and that's the biggest thing. You know, once that confidence goes away, you really it's something that's very tough to get it back, especially at this level. Um, you know, that every Wide receiver, I feel like what makes a lot of them great is, you know, the confidence they have. You know, might drop a pass here, drop a pass here, but the next time they they go up, they're thinking, this is going to be my catch, this is going to be my ball. And the, so to see that out of uh, out of Bateman, um, it, it just showed me um, uh, the confidence he has. And I've been guarding him um, throughout OTAs and uh, mini camp the other day. I've just, I've just seen some some serious flashes. I, I had told DaCosta, I was like, hey, man, I think we got a pretty good one uh, in Bateman. So he's shown some really good things to me. I can't wait to get some more battles with him in training camp um, and, and take it into the season. He also brought up the rookie, Bateman. And went, <sighs> man. And I feel like the Ravens media is really hiding him. Yeah, he's been like sick a little bit, a little muscle tightness here and there. But, you know, still got a long way to go. But they really ain't showing like a lot, lot. Hard spoke about that a little bit, I believe. Pretty much like none of y'all business. We're going to show you what we can show you and be happy with it. Gangsta hearts. Gangsta. But I like me some gangster hearts. But he said him and um, Marlon Humphrey and Bateman. Marlon Humphrey said something that's similar. You see the you saw the video, but um, it was just like you know he he got him on one play, kind of tapped him on the butt, like you know I got you on that one. And he said right he saw the confidence. And man, when he talked about that, that was deep. Because one thing a lot of us said talking about that confidence is Boykin. 
boy can mess up on plays, run the wrong route. And you wonder, it's like, where is his confidence? Like, because if you have a lot of confidence, Lamar's going to see that. Obviously, Lamar has a lot of confidence. They didn't try to put that man in every single position when he was younger. He stayed on his path of what he wanted to be. And now he's that MVP. But that's just like... And he also said, he said that too, he told Eric DeCosta, but hey, I think, I, think, I think we got something here. I think we got something. And you think about who Marlon Humphrey has went against. Just really just think about in our division who he, he has went against. I'm not even talking about Juju because he's a TikTok person. But but uh OBJ. Uh shoot, I can't think about the, the freaking Dude, he plays next to. I'm sorry, y'all know who I'm talking about. I can't think. He's he's a grinder too. I like him, but I cannot think of his name right. What was his name? Jarvis Landry? There we go, Jarvis Land. Woo. Okay, Jarvis Landry. And then you think about what the Bengals and T Higgins and I can't. I ain't gonna even add Chase in there yet, cause we haven't seen him do anything yet. You know, but he's seen AJ Green. He's he done went against D Hop. We saw what D Hop did to him. D Hop could have been a Raven. It's all your fault, Engraven. You kept reminding me of that. Shout out to you, fam. But you just and he said he sees some potential in this dude with that confidence. We might got some. I'm going to put him next to Hollywood, too? What? We keep with Andy Mark? What? We, we might have some, y'all. Might be might be some beautiful work. But Marlon Humphrey, he, he gave that dude some praises. I can't remember a lot when he, I seen Marlon Humphrey give a wide receiver praise for as a rookie. And on top of that, and being like, yeah, he got me a couple of times and I got him, but that's a lot. That's a lot. And you know, can't wait, but I can't wait to the preseason, the real season, whatever. I just can't wait, y'all. It's going to be good. Hit that like, hit that subscribe, hit that share. <sighs> Woo. Tell me what y'all think. Have a good one.